I will be signing executive order making Dalton Village a second chance village for returning residents. You don't get away from the word ex-offender. Give people a chance. Yeah, give people a chance. Goat dealer, uh, game banger. We all know someone like See, she's speaking for everybody, her own stuff. She's like, oh, come on. All of us are surrounded 24-7 by criminals, right? <laughs> no, Tiffany, that's just you. <laughs> that's you and by choice, okay? And in fact, by preference, you prefer it. Hey y'all, it's your girl J9E. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, get into the comments to let me know what you think about this. Okay, I started this video for one reason and because I like to put my reaction to be real. And so I will nitpick through, you know, a clip and find something I find interesting and I'll react to it. But sometimes, just sometimes when I'm going through it, Tiffany will say something that will shock the shit out of me. <laughs> and suddenly I stop. <laughs> and I must react to just that thing that she just said. Okay, so this right here, apparently Tiffany wants to save the people. You might think, oh my God, that's so nice, <laughs> right? But there's a specific type of people that she's talking about saving in this. She said <laughs> she wants to give the ex-offenders, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, um, a clean slate when they come back to Dalton. She emphasizes this. You come back to Dalton. That you leave Dalton and you are an ex-offender. She wants you to, when you come back, they're not going to call you that. They're going to pretend like that never happened. You ain't never did that. That's not a thing you done. No, no, not at all. That's what she said. So uh, we're going to, we're going to listen and see what she has to say. She's trying to save the predators, basically. She's trying to save the predators. I have always said this. Tiffany loves to surround herself with criminals. And you might think, oh, criminals like these, criminal, no. Just criminals, every type, even the worst possible type you could think of. She even mentions Schmurder. <laughs> all forgiven, all is forgiven once you come into Tiffany's bosom. So let's hear what she has to say. She's got some ideas. She say, she always talking about her good ideas. She says, I got good ideas. I got great ideas. So many of the good ideas, just crazy. I mean, good ideas I got. So let's hear this one particular great idea that Tiffany came up with. Oh my gosh, she's going to prison. You're going to prison, Tiff Tiff. As it relates to us as people, mm -hmm. us as humans, okay. human beings, who are we to judge anyone? Okay. When A, you did your time for mm -hmm. your crime. You did your time. You must give people second chances. Yeah, come on. You, gotta you give them a second must chance. not keep holding mm -hmm. people account accountable for things they've done 30 years ago. Only God can judge. Not us. Yeah. The, the problem is, it's not that we're judging them. It's that we're hiding from them, trying to protect ourselves from them. And you can't do that if you keep offering them a job in your house. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard to protect yourself from the criminal that you allowed to work in your house. Okay. It's not judgment. It's it's being not stupid, basically. <laughs> Tiffany's so dumb, dumb. Look at this. We are all <laughs> here on borrow time. Mm-hmm. And for that reason, I would not, I will not uh -huh. spend my time degrading anyone. No, no. Okay. Pulling anyone down. Oh, okay. She always talking about how up she is and how down they are, but whatever. Whatever, Tim. Rejudging you when a judge already judged you mm -hmm. for any crime you have ever committed. For any crime that you have ever committed, no matter what it is, no matter how small the person you did it to, don't matter. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Everything is forgivable, and I'm gonna give you a job. Tiffany gonna Tiffany gonna give him a job working for the people, possibly some of the people who might have been victims of said person. But okay, all right, Tiffany, what else you got? That's not my place. No, I thought and it was. Remember the word politician. You are the leader, and you're the one that came up with the idea to hire these people. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is your place. That's your place. And my book is uh huh. Help everyone. Yeah, help everyone. Not just. The few that live in my community. Yeah, come on. My job is to help any and all residents of Dalton. I do not discriminate because of your background. If you come to me and ask me, Mayor Henry, I need help. I'm okay. going to A, find resources for you. Okay. I'm going to direct you in the right direction. Okay. And I'm going to tell you 
I got your back. Mm. Any and all know me. Well, that is my true friend. Only got friends on, on one hand. <laughs> yeah, more like one nothing. <laughs> yeah, one hand. She got this many friends. <laughs> That's one hand. It's zero. Tiffany ain't got no friends and she know it. That's why she's smiling. It's like, God, it's weird that I ain't got not one. Not one? Know that I am loyal. Oh, yeah. I am a protector. Oh, yeah. That what you are? And I will always go to bat for what's right. Okay. okay. That sounds so noble. She's so noble. I believe in second chances. Oh, you do? And because I believe in second chances, mm -hmm. so truly, mm -hmm. I will be signing okay. an executive order making Dalton Village a second chance village for returning residents. You don't get away from the word ex-offender. Uh, so, see, that's, she says she emphasizes for returning like so it's like there must be some people that she must know whom were you know convicted of ex vending okay because she points that out she emphasized that crime in particular and maybe got put in a jail that's not in Dalton somewhere you know so she's trying to let them know hey come on you can come on back I ain't gonna let them do nothing to you you're gonna be like a brand new person when you come back here Tiffany got you Makes you wonder who that person is. Because whenever she does some shit like this, it's always with a person in mind. One particular person in mind she's doing this for. Uh, people with issues, whatever words you call them, they, mm -hmm. they are returning residents, returning citizens. Returning citizens. So I'm asking you all to stay tuned for details. Mm -hmm. I will be hosting, well, holding a press conference next week. I don't have a day yet. I'm praying it's Monday. More than likely it will be Monday. I'm guessing it never happened. So you can follow me on Facebook under Tiffany Hinyard. Uh-huh. Or you can go and stay tuned with the Village of Dalton website because we do update that daily. Mm-hmm. And I just want people to know that give people a chance. Yeah, give people a chance. Give them a chance. It's like, okay, they did. They committed this crime. They, you know, murked somebody, you know, 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, give them another chance. You know, let them come and work here, you know, and, and, and let the, the victim's family have to look at this person every fucking day. Yeah. Let them come back. Let them just, let's not even bring up the fact that they murked somebody or they, you know, are an ex-offender. Let's just pretend we never knew. Tiffany, this is what you sound like. Like, I know it sounds crazy what I'm saying, but this is what you, this is what it sounds like you're saying. Because it is what you're saying. I mean. For real, for sure. <laughs> and stop believing in everything you hear, all right? Because remember, it's always another side to the story. Get yeah, that's why I don't be believing nothing you say. Because I know there's always another side. And it's more likely that the other side is going to be the true side. Because your side is always the lying side. And so you're right. I can agree. I concur, Tiff. I concur. Both sides before you actually make a decision yeah. on what side you're going to choose. Uh-huh. Because remember, when a hate don't work, they start telling lies. Somebody hashtag it. Hashtag it. When a hate don't work, they start telling lies. And that's kind of what's going on here in the village of Dawson. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of misleading information, such as people going in individuals' homes. Code enforcement do not, and I repeat, and I said it several times, and we told the media this, do not go in homes. They drive around, and they actually write tickets. Yeah, code enforcement ain't supposed to go in homes. Is what you is what you mean to say? They don't go in homes like they're allergic or something. They can go on. They do go in homes. They're not supposed to go in homes. I hate when people make pretend that because the rule is the rule, is proof that the thing didn't happen. Like that, if that was the case, why would there even be laws? Because clearly, if, if that means that laws are solid and the way that they are is is there's no getting around them. No one can ever do anything that's not inside the law. If that was the case, you wouldn't need police because there'd be nobody breaking the law because according to you, it's impossible to break the law. <laughs> it's not capable of being done. <laughs> this woman wanted to release all the uh, ex-offenders, okay? She want to give them all jobs. She want to make it, She want to make everybody in the, in the village have to work with these people, work around these people, have these people floating around their house with their children, even though they are ex-offenders, which... Well, her emphasis, she that's the first crime that she emphasized. If you, uh, you know, no more having to live under the the the, the title of an ex-offender. If you come back here, you're going to be like a, it's like, like you're going to come in, you're going to be reborn. 
And we ain't gonna hold it over your head at all. We ain't gonna say nothing. Oh my God. And then she now she's talking about don't believe nobody when they when they when they tell when they tell on people. Well, I guess that was her mentioning her own situation because she know people gonna tell on her. She's like, hey, stop believing them. <laughs> on um vacant property, on property that's missing addresses, grass, the grass too high, anything. That's what they do. Uh-huh. But to my community, um, the employee that everyone was talking about has been removed from the street, just so you're aware of that. And they are doing desk duty. Okay, so the person that they're all talking about, so she won't say what the crime was that this person, whoever this person is that they hired without doing a background check, she won't mention what the thing was that he did. She won't mention who he is. She won't say that, right? But she did just say, y'all just heard it, just like me, that he has been removed from the street and he is now doing desk duty. I thought this was funny. Check this out. He's doing desk duty. That's what she just said, right? They still work for the village. Yes. I am not firing any of the still village. Still work no, for the I village. So I'm just So they still work for the village, right? She not firing them. They did not get fired. Still working for the village. Then you guys know you hear it from the horse's mouth. The person still works here. They still have a job. And the way that everybody displayed, meaning the trustees displayed this individual's information mm -hmm. has caused this individual to be homeless. Mm-hmm not find em employment okay you heard that right so she never fired him he didn't lose his job he just got put in the desk job so he still has his job then she jumps right into because of the people exposing him okay he is now homeless he's unable to find employment bitch he still works there you like one sentence ago you said you st he still works there is still employed your words and now it's can't find work he's homeless he can't find a job because he already got one because i already told y'all <laughs> she can't even remember the lie she told one sentence ago <laughs> one sentence ago tiffany i mean i'm gonna need for you to try harder okay be a better liar if you're gonna do it really you know put your back into it you know what i'm saying and it messes with people oh do it mess with the people and i just can't be a part of that you can't Oh. Um, for help. I mean, it's your fault. I mean, you got them. How you let them be hired with no background check and you know none of that stuff. And you can say it till you turn blue in the face that you didn't know, and that's not what a what a what a. But you hired Keith Freeman, insisted on hiring him without a background check. When the trustees pleaded with you, okay, fine, we'll keep him. Uh, he seems fine. There's not an issue with him. We all think he might be an okay fit. But can we just wait for the background check to come back so we can, you know? Proper protocols. You refused to fucking wait and re and it demanded to do it that same fucking day. No matter what they said. That was a hilarious video I made about that. <laughs> That's what you done. Oh my gosh. I can't stand this helpful. Helping and uplifting people. And a lot of people got a lot of second chance programs. But now I'm going to be the example of second chance programs. Oh yeah. And what that should look like and will be. Because we're going to stop mm -hmm. pointing the finger when you got three pointing back at you. Yeah, everybody, and I say everybody, and you can tell me I'm lying, but, but I know I'm not. Got a mother, sister, uncle, brother, father, cousin that has some type of issue. Mm -hmm. it was background, been to jail, been to prison, did a murder, sold drugs. You see what I'm saying? Murkings, ex-offenders. <laughs> she like, everybody got an ex-offender in their family <laughs> and, and wants them to be given a second chance. Now, see, that's where the problem's at. You might find one of them in your family, but everybody's going to disown that motherfucker as soon as they know. <laughs> it's like he don't exist no more. It's not. They're all like, oh, he needs a second chance. It's a blah, 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 blah. No, you might have one, but as soon as you know you have one, it's like you don't have one, you know, because he gets booted. He gets booted. That's what's supposed to happen. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, goat dealer, uh, gang banger. We all know someone like that. See, she's speaking for everybody, her own stuff. She's like, oh, come on. All of us are surrounded 24-7 by criminals, right? <laughs> no, Tiffany, that's just you. <laughs> that's you and by choice, okay? And in fact, fuck that, by preference. You prefer it. So again, y'all still love on them, right? No. You still help them, right? Yeah, you got an ex-offender uncle. You still love on them, don't you? <laughs> Hell no. He lucky if he still got arms and legs. What you talking about? They still come with family functions, right? No, that's all I'm saying. That's the dysfunction in this heifer's mind. You think that you think it's the same thing. You, she thinks 
that an ex-offender is equivalent to a drug dealer as far as a family member. Okay. <laughs> Basically, politicians are all drug dealers and they kids are very proud of them. I'm just saying, okay. An uh, ex-offender, on the other hand, no, no, absolutely not. But she's shoving them all inside the same boat. She's shoving them all. They're all, it's all the same. Come on, all crimes are the same. <laughs> Stop judging people because you're still going to be people at the end of the day. So, uh, oh my God. What's this it? is a borrowed seat. We're going to borrow time as we sit here oh, yes, right. um, in the village of Dawson. We're going to borrow time as we walk the streets as human beings. Yeah, come on. We on borrowed time. We gotta, uh, we gotta. Basically, she's saying forgive the sex offenders. I disagree. Hey, tip, tip. I disagree. Okay, <laughs> I call for castration myself. I mean, I feel like that there's a way, a good way to do it. You know what I'm saying? She want to forgive them, move them in next door. You know, maybe make them baby, have them babysit. So yeah. remember, it's it. What matters is what you do within that dash. That's how Timmy live her life. What I do within that dash is what he will judge me on. Not what you judge me on. No, no, no. We're going to judge you on that too. Like we going <laughs> to, it must be so nice to just commit crimes constantly to steal and rob and lie. I mean, lie so bad that you don't even realize you, the lie you telling now is different from the lie you told one sentence ago. Like it must be so comfortable and convenient to just be able to be like, y'all can't judge me. Only he can judge me when clearly the people who commit the most crimes and do the craziest, most, it's not even crazy shit. It's selfish shit. The people who behave selfishly in life, just in general, like just, just have a general selfish state of mind. This is how you know when somebody does not actually believe in, they don't believe in heaven, hell, a uh, higher being. They don't believe in this stuff. They say they do because, you know, it looks weird when you don't. But they don't really, because if you feared action, if you actually believed in hell, you would fear it. These people move like they don't believe in, 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 they don't, they just know in their mind, in their heart of hearts that this is all there is. So they just living for themselves in the moment because to them, this is literally all there is. So she'll use, you know, the man upstairs and all of that stuff. She'll use all those references, but she don't actually believe in it. And you know, because if not, she would know that she's going to light straight on fire with gasoline draws as soon as it's over. <laughs> she would know. That's how you know. That's actually the actual sign to know if somebody really is a believer in like the afterlife, everlasting life. If people actually believe that stuff, you can tell by how they behave while they're here. When you fear Hades, you behave different. Because all <laughs> I know is I follow his steps. Oh, you do? Uh -huh. Not what people tell me or want me to do. Okay. I follow his steps. If he say stand on it, then I want you to fight and focus on that. That's the route I'm going. Okay. And, that, and that's, and that's great. And that's understandable. Okay. So she only, she's like, I'm not listening to the people. <laughs> Come on. I listen to the big man upstairs. That's what I listen to. Okay. But you expect for the people in this village to listen to you. <laughs> what if what you saying sounds different? What they think they hear from the man upstairs. Are they, the expectation is that they don't, that they listen to you, even though you refuse to listen to them. Yeah. Nah, bitch. That's going to be a hell no, Tip Tip. That's going to be a big ass hell no. But I always help people. Oh, do you? You help so them? All the attacks, all Come the naysayers, all the haters. Uh-huh. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Because now <laughs> I'm going to stand on you. Oh. Now okay. I'm going to make my community be the example that many communities need to be. Okay. So anybody that got issues or backgrounds or problems, reach out. I'm also having an expungement seminar. I had the date. We changed the date. So it will be in December. So I'm going to give you the resource to help you get expungements, to help you seal your records, to help you be that polished citizen that people need you to be when you come in the door. Ain't that something? We're going to teach you how to expunge your record. <laughs> okay. We're going to just, we're going to hide this weird ex-offender thing that you got on your record. We're going to hide that because... I mean, it's going to be hard for you to get a babysitting job when you got an ex-offender thing on your record. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, listen to your fucking self. You can't be trying to, because she, the only reason I'm bringing up the ex-offender is because she specifically called out the ex-offenders for this, talking about her wanting to do this, expunge records and stuff. You expunge it and then we can't see it. And then they're right there next door and then kids go missing. <laughs> This is, there's a reason why the records are there so that we can know who 
who we should be feeling secure around, who we might want to be more cautious around, and who we definitely want to lock our kids up when they come around, and who we need to pull out them things, you know what I'm saying, to shoot them things, you know, when they come around. <laughs> I'm just saying. She's so dumb. It's, it's, it's actually scary. It actually is a little bit frightening. I can't believe I never heard this. She's going to do a seminar, okay? She's going to sign in some type of law of some sort, you know, to make it, you know, so that the ex-offenders feel more comfortable because that's what matters, right, Tiff Tiff? <laughs> I'm going to help you with resources such as housing, living assistance, food, jobs. Let's head a job fair. It was a huge success. And they hired on the spot. And guess what? They did not care about your background. Because right now, like I said, as of today, we are judged about what we do now. Yeah, they didn't care about the background because they didn't do a background check, you dumb bitch. Just like y'all. Y'all are the local government. McDonald's does a better background check than you, bitch. You is the government. You is the government. You is the local government. And y'all ain't doing background checks. Oh my God. You know what happens when people find out that a certain job or position doesn't even do background checks? The worst of the worst of the worst is coming in to apply when they find that out. So you think that they're not fully full up with a bunch of freaking criminals of all types. Because she seems to have carry a lot of favor with the ex-offenders. None of y'all realize when I say ex-offenders, it's supposed to be an S there. I'm trying to be conservative for YouTube. <laughs> okay. I do not live in my past. I do not go back in my past. The past is the past. Oh, that's why she put... Oh, wait. Like, you know why she's doing all of this? She said all of this because she knows she got her own little mugshot. She like, that don't have nothing to do with today, okay? If I stole a car back in the day, you can't pretend that that's still who I am today, okay? I ain't stolen a car in three years. She'll only be judged on your present and your future. So I'm going to leave that alone. But remember, when hate don't work, they tell a lie. So haters, screenshot that. Next. How the fuck do you screenshot words, bitch? <laughs> oh, Tiffany, you gonna stop making it so easy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> she makes a quote she feels is clever. And then she says the most intelligent thing that she can, which is <laughs> screenshot that thing I just said. <laughs> Tiffany, you funny. You funny. Don't let nobody tell you different, all right? <laughs> Tiffany wants to save the, the, the ex-offenders, okay? She wants to save the Geppettos, okay? That's what she want to do, okay? She want to save the Geppettos. She want to give them a safe haven. She wants to call Dalton the safe haven for Geppettos. Dalton, how y'all feeling about this? <laughs> like, was she successful? Did she do it? Did she sign this declaration of whatever? This this it, declaration of Geppetto independence? Did she? Did she? Did she sign it? Okay, is it a thing that now you can't ask Geppettos if they're Geppettos and you can't find the name on records because Tiffany's in there expunging shit? Did that ever happen? Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all still here? Let me know in the comments if you have any in info about this, okay? Let me know because I'm very, very curious. I came across this by accident, okay? That's crazy, all right? Y'all behave, all right? Because I'm not going to do it. Absolutely not, okay? Tiff Tiff is just doing an awful lot. Look at this. Her nose is so open. I can see straight into her brain. I can see your thoughts, bitch. And ain't nothing good that's up there. <laughs> Mama love you. Yes, she do. Ooh. Pew. 